What is up, Omosh Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome and are ready for part two of a massive CGC bulk return. <laughs> the only member in today's video is Ethan. All of these cards are his, and this sub was sent off on April 1st of last year. And so other than letting you guys know that my son is taking a bath, literally right next door, <laughs> you might hear some screams or cries, who knows? But let's just get to the reveal. And just like that, we are back. The two towers are in front of us. I have to roll up my sleeves, guys, because it's gonna get hot. I'm gonna be lifting so many slabs today. <laughs> and let's get right to it. CGC bulk, and I believe this is no subgrades, but we'll find out right here. 7.5, no subgrades. This is the Fossil Zapdos with the Error Hollow pattern. As you can see, Zapdos doesn't have an evolution, <laughs> but for some reason, the Hollow Foil was printed as if it did. Beautiful card though, Fossil, Watsy, to start off the day. Not even mad about that. Japanese card next. Ooh, Neo, the Meganium, and look at that nice swirl over on the left side. Johto starter right here, love it so much. Next we have, boom, 9.5. We got a good 9.5 early on. <laughs> Hopefully we can get at least a lot more 9.5s, maybe some 10s, beautiful Charizard though. We all love the promo Charizard right there. And this one is base Charmander, beautiful. Never get sick of that artwork. Just base set is too good. I understand there are amazing sets out there, but there's just something about base, you know. Next. The Squirtle is next. This one is personally my favorite artwork when it comes to the base starter cards. Just so good, doing that bubble beam or maybe that's just a bubble. I've always wondered what he was like standing on though. I mean, it's a rock, but why does it look so weird? <laughs> next, Dark Hypno, first edition non-hollow, 7.5. Sick card, we're getting mesmerized right there. Oh yeah, guys, we know what this one is. There's a little something right there, but let's see what we got. Eight, which is pretty good for a little dent in the back like that. And I see a nice big old swirl right in the middle. This card is too good. The Ancient Mew promo from the first movie. I wanna watch the first movie now. <laughs> Next up. Oh, 8.5, now this is a sick card. This actually was a Japanese exclusive. We do not have this art in English, but it is a sweet card. The little baby Chansey popping out the egg. I like the coloring of that card, very cool. Next up, Bamo, 7.5 Machoke from base, flexing on us, flexing hard. Hopefully in a few months I can look like Machoke. <laughs> Bam. Oh, we got an eight for the M Charizard EX. Beautiful card though, the Mega Charizard from Evolutions. A fan favorite set. 7.5 for the Eevee, jumping with the flowers. Uh, flowers, <laughs> uh, butterflies. I wanted to say Butterfreeze, but those aren't Butterfreeze. Charizard nine from Vivid Voltage, classic card right there, classic artwork. Shiny, whoa. How, what happened to this card? That is wild, 5.5 for the Shining Volcanian. Wonder what happened with that guy, but there are too many cards, guys. We'll be here for two hours if I sit and stare at every single card. Bam. Oh yes, Giovanni's Magikarp. Now this is just a Magikarp card, but it's so good. I love the Sugimori artwork. And guys, I know, I know I have to move on. <laughs> we have so many cards to check out. Dragonite, very nice nine hollow there from Team Up. Kind of a unique artwork there for Dragonite. You don't see that too much. Ooh, that is beautiful. 9.52, we got a Japanese Neo Premium File 3 Suicune. Look at that artwork. Suicune's a beast. I think I have decided that Entei is my favorite legendary dog though. Houndor from Neo Discovery, sick. Nothing special, that is just an uncommon, but it's still sweet, it's still vintage, and I love to see it. Whoa, check out that hollow Gengar. He's about to do a lick right on you. <laughs> Breakthrough set from 2015. I didn't think Breakthrough was that old. This set, the next card, Lucario V from Champion's Path. I do enjoy the artwork of that card very cool v lucario is a lot of people's favorite pokemon i've enjoyed lucario in the new diamond and pearl games he's in my party 
Lapras promo, very nice. I do enjoy the hollow patterns of the modern promos. They are sick. And a 9.5 for a promo too. It's pretty good. Next up, Talonflame V full art, 8.5. Talonflame is a pretty cool Pokemon. <laughs> I do like Staraptor though. I've had him in my party as well. Primal Kyogre, beautiful. Love the Japanese going across the card and the texture of this bad boy is nutty. Very nice, 8.5. Next up we have Scizor VMAX, classic card. I love the artwork. Love the look of the Scizor cards. Grim, oh man, I hate Grimstar so, so much. I can't even pretend to like that card. <laughs> Oh, now this is a little throwback. 2016 8.5 Team Rocket's Handiwork. You can just tell that this is an older card. Back when Full Arts were still, you know, making its way into every single set. So cool. Very nice. Bam. Oh, now this is sweet. 2007. Look at that Gengar artwork. So good. 6.5. It is definitely scratched up and stuff. But Gengar sitting on a stump in a starry sky. <laughs> I enjoy that so much. Next up, Giovanni's Exile, 9.5. We're doing well with the 9.5s today, so I'm happy with that. We'll take 9.5s, right? Bam! Another one back to back. We got the peers, beautiful. CGC did just announce recently that if you do no subgrades on your submission and one of your cards gets a 10, whether that's pristine or perfect, they will throw on the subgrades for you for free. So that is awesome. Bam! Misty's Determination 9. I love this card in the CGC slab. It looks so good. And I actually just sent off a huge bulk sub with so many different TG, TCGs, Hop 9, uh, I sent in MetaZoo, Final Fantasy, Digimon, Weiss, Schwartz, Dragon Ball Super, Pokemon, I'm doing it all guys, to test out the waters. I uh, love this card, Cosmic Eclipse. And hopefully some of those cards come back as 10s. I did no subgrades, so we'll see if we get some free subgrades whenever they come back. Boomo, Boomo, what? <laughs> See what these huge subs have me do guys. I just go crazy 9.5 again though sick Lapras V max one of my favorite V max cards for sure Bam dreadnought V. We've all seen this guy a thousand times champions path Japanese I love the Japanese here and there. Oh And this is a big Japanese card T17 the Typhlosion from Neo Genesis I want to say Genesis, but that doesn't sound right. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's right that is an awesome card. The artwork's insane. Oh, Typhlosion is so sick. But I will say that I think I like Feraligator and Meganium better than Typhlosion. Boom. Very nice B or Bay. About to karate kick you. <laughs> Speaking of karate kick, Cobra Kai, the new season just came out. I binged it in like a day. Insane. Ooh. Ooh, we got the Rainbow Nessa, very nice card. The rainbows pop in these CGC slabs and I love it so much. I feel like I say I love it and next. So many times in these videos. <laughs> Boom. Oh, upgraded B or Bay. We got the rainbow version this time. And look at that. We got some nice little punching firework things in the background. Once you get past the crazy rainbow swirlage. Next. Oh, this is sick. 8.5, but this is the Mewtwo and Mew promo. Look at the texture on this card, and the artwork is so good. The cranky, stubborn, angry Mewtwo, just fed up with the happy, cheerful, cute Mew. <laughs> that is so good. I need one of those in my collection, I think. It's just too good of an artwork. Bam! Shiny boy Charmander, he's happy to see ya. We got a nine. Congrats on all these grades. I feel like we're doing pretty good for the most part. 8.5 Skyridge Claymation Hoot Hoot. Very nice. <laughs> the Claymations always crack me up. They're never my favorite cards, but they're classic. They've been around literally the whole time. Boom. Mimikyu, very nice character card right there. And speaking of characters, guys, are we getting all the characters in Brilliant Star? I do not know. No leaks other than like the Charizards have happened when it comes to Brilliant Star. Boom, Dreadnought VMAX, nice. And so obviously they're gonna spit out the Charizard leak to get everyone hyped, but I really haven't seen anything else yet. So I'm curious if we're gonna have an insane set with Brilliant Star with all the character 
uh, rares. Boom. Very nice. Love the boss's orders card. So classic, just Giovanni. And that's such a good animation style artwork. Like that's straight from an anime. <laughs> it looks so good, like Demon Slayer or something. Next up. Brock's Grit 6.5. Don't know what happened with this guy, but I do enjoy that card as well. Another anime-esque artwork. Oh man, and guys, speaking of Demon Slayer, I'm digging the Demon Slayer episodes recently. They are coming out weekly right now, and oh, they're so good. Snorlax level X, very nice. This guy's coming out at you to eat you up, chomp up some of your food. So watch out for Snorlax. Next, Gold Berserker. <laughs> this is one of the only gold Pokemon cards I've ever pulled with the modern sets. It's sitting in a binder, but very nice. 9.5. Next up, we still have like 40 cards. <laughs> Misty's Favor 9.5, that is beaut, a beaut. The very nice card, that's a banger right there. Misty's showing some love right there. Love it. Next up, bam. Ooh, we're going vintage Dark Doug Trio, first edition. Love this card. He's popping out at that house in Cerulean City. <laughs> Literally. So cool. But yeah, other than Demon Slayer that's coming out weekly, Attack on Titan is also coming out weekly. And oh man, I'm, I've never been so confused <laughs> for, for one. Uh, and then two, I'm so hyped. The end of the series is this season and it's going to be insane. 7.5 Fossil Gengar, beautiful, love that card. Gengar is just too cool, man. I'm telling you, Gengar is a top five for me. Back to Japanese. Gyarados, Giovanni's, love it. Anything from Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge, all instantly has my heart. I just love them all so much. A dark Hypno right here, very nice. This one is the Hollow and it's first edition this time. Very nice to see, love the Rocket series so much. Next up, Charmander, but this one is Shadowless. Very nice, 7.5. One set I've never opened and I wish that I could is EX Team Rocket Returns. Since I love the WotC Rocket set so much, I think Gold Star Hunting in EX Team Rocket Returns would be so cool. Kingdra from Neo, beautiful with a massive swirl. This is an underrated card, guys. I feel like Kingdra, Kingdra overall is just an underrated Pokemon. It is weird that he's a dragon, but you know, who knows what Pokemon's thinking. Hey, now that's a cool card. Mew, full art promo, holding the leaf in his hand with the rainbow in the back. I don't know if it gets much cuter than that. That is just awesome right there. Next up we have Lurantis. <laughs> I don't even know what that Pokemon is, so we're just gonna move on, but it's always good seeing a rainbow, right? <laughs> Next up. Yeah, Amazing Rares, Kyogre, my favorite Amazing Rare. I mean, Kyogre is just my favorite Pokemon out of the Amazing Rares, but the Rayquaza is really hard to beat. Shiny Ditto, very nice nine right there. The Blue Slime, giant form, we'll take it. Next up, yeah, Rainbow Snorlax, this is a bigger card. When it comes to modern stuff, everyone loves this card, <laughs> and I'm right there with those guys. Next up we have, boom. Yeah, Amazing Rare Raikou. This artwork is sick. I love that he's just jumping on something. He's about to pounce, I'm telling you. He's about to pounce like a little squovid or something. <laughs> Next up, boom. Piers from Shining Fates, very nice. That is our second Piers full art card. Squovit, that's a little too new for Ra Raikou, huh? Uh, what's what's the little squirrel? Oh man, I'm drawing a blank. Why can't I remember that Pokemon? It's for its earlier evolution. Freak guys, I'm losing it. It's too late. <laughs> He's about to pounce on one of those. Bam! Jesse and James full art, very nice from Hidden Fates. Wonder if we're about to see a nice little Hidden Fates run. Boom! No, we're getting some evolutions. We're getting a nine for the base artwork Polyrath. So good. I love the evolutions hollow. They need to make more modern sets with the vintage style hollows like that. I think it'd be so cool. Ooh, 5.5. This is the Legend Maker Gengar. That is sick. I love that they have the stamps right there for these old school vintage uh, reverse hollows. So fun. Boom. Yes, the Tentacruel. Watch out for this guy. 
Misty's Tentacruel. Love the artwork. It's just so plain, but for some reason it looks so good. Sugimori has that effect on Pokemon and cards. I don't know how he does it. Japanese. Yeah, this is one of them. Sugimori the Persian coming out to play. Oh, that is a... The artwork, guys! I can't get over the artwork. That's literally why I love Weiss shorts. Like, I could open a Weiss set that I had, I've never seen the anime for, but the artwork is so good that I just enjoy it. It's so fun. Brock's Rhydon, yes, we'll take that one. Very nice card. It should be Giovanni's Rhydon though, right? That's like the Pokemon that I associate Giovanni with for some reason. <laughs> this card next. Slow King from Neo, loving these old school cards. Now this artwork too is just too good. Who drew this one? Sugimori, you just know it's him. Just the classic, traditional, original artwork for all of the Pokemon. Sugimori, it's just the man. Bam! Excadrill, modern character ca card. <laughs> They're at an oil field or a mine or something crazy. Japanese card again. Ooh, we got a very nice Charmander Blaine's edition. Love that. Is he jumping out of like a volcano? Like, uh, I've never known what was going on right there. Guys, we're maybe, we're definitely past halfway. <laughs> Bam. Oh, we got a very nice tag team card, the Magikarp and the Whale Lord. I love this, 8.5. The alternate art of this is awesome. <laughs> Such a classic card. Next. Mew from Unbroken Bonds, very nice artwork there. Uh, an artwork that you don't see too much of, like that's a, definitely a stranger looking Mew. Boom, very nice Torkoal, love that you're grading all the character rares. Uh, I definitely need all of my character rares from Cosmic Eclipse graded, I only have the Piplup. Boom, Japanese 9.5, the babies of Tag Team All-Stars, very nice card. Next up. Yeah, Rainbow, Marshadow, and Machamp. Marshadow taking over Machamp's body with some shadow paralysis jutsu and dominating people <laughs> with the muscles, right? Yes, love this card. He's squished in the box, but he is fierce still. So good, guys. Uh, I love Komiya, don't get me wrong, but you cannot beat Sugimori artwork ever. It's just too good. Ooh, Deoxys EX as an eight, that is solid. And we have a galaxy style swirl right in the background too. Beautiful card from 2005. That is awesome, congratulations on that. Next card, five for the dark Charizard. It's definitely played, but oh, the artwork is insane. And yeah, you wanna slab up these guys for sure. They're just too good. Is this a gym challenger heroes card? Yes, it is. The Mewtwo. I always like this artwork. Even though if you look really close, like at his face, it's like, what the heck? You look kind of weird. But he's he's conjuring up some sort of beam at you. <laughs> Watch out. Bam. Dratini classic artwork. Can't complain. Not too much to say, but oof, so good. Very nice. Next up, boom. Eight on the base Alakazam, we will take that, good old Spoon Boy. I'll never get sick of seeing these cards, guys. Thank you for trusting me with them. I love showing off your guys' cards. Boom. Yeah, we have Leonhardt's favorite Pokemon card ever, the Squirtle from Rocket, swimming at the bottom of the sea. So good. Next up, we have... Ooh, a secret rare from Secret or uh, Supreme Victors, 7.5 Articuno. That is awesome. I had all three of these the birds. <laughs> I won't say it too crazy, um, but I ended up selling them because yeah, I don't. I don't even know why. Don't ask. <laughs> Emo Eevee right there, seven, first edition, very nice. Guys, we can actually see the bottom or the rest of this tower. Just so many cards today. Yeah, we got the promo Charizard and breaks in. That is sick. I love the texture of the promos. You literally can't beat them. I wonder why they don't add that much texture for real set cards. Oh, that's a beaut. Eight, but we have the rainbow. Gengar and Mimikyu ghosts, that is sick. <laughs> what if Gengar put on a little Mimikyu costume? That'd be pretty sweet. Next up, a ghost imitating a ghost. <laughs> 
Bam! Yeah, beautiful, beautiful Rainbow Umbreon from Sun and Moon Base. One, definitely the chase card of that set. <whistles> Giovanni Scheme. We've had multiple Giovanni cards today, and that is a nine. That is awesome. Very nice full art card right there. Next up, we have another Jesse and James, and again, we got a nine. Not a ton of 9.5s, definitely no 10s, but we've done pretty good. Base Mewtwo, love that artwork. Just again, so simple, but Sugimori just does it right. He just makes it look so good somehow. Next up, oh, now that's a sick card. We have the Ampharos from Aquapolis. This is sick e-reader card. Back when we would swipe these right in our Game Boy Advances. <laughs> I never did. I didn't have the money for any sort of accessories like that, but I'm sure I would have if I had it. Bam. Yeah, Reg Challenge, one of the better modern cards of today. Just, you can't beat that. Nostalgia in a modern card. All right here. Oof, such a sweet card. Next up, bam. 6.5 Bulbasaur. Nothing crazy, but I do enjoy that Bulbasaur quite a bit. Next, few cards left. Another one, we have the seven this time. We got a good upgrade. Let's see if we can keep going. No, <laughs> 6.5 for the Magneton from Rocket. Beautiful card, super hard to grade. Literally super hard to grade. <laughs> Next up, Kabutops. Very nice fossil card. Love the Watsi sets. Fossil and Jungle just really hit home for me. I think I had mostly Fossil and Jungle cards growing up. Boom. Ooh, Darkrai Rainbow Edition popping out at us, 8.5. A lot of people really love Darkrai as well. I never played a game where he was in it, so he's like, whatever. He does look super cool though. Boom, there's the shiny version. <laughs> Same artwork, we'll even pop it up. Same artwork, but rainbow and shiny. Beautiful cards, beautiful cards. Love to see that. Next up we have yeah, Hidden Fates, Lucario, the gold. I love when shiny Pokemon are gold for some reason. I just think they all look so good. Oh, the first one that comes to mind is the Magikarp, of course. Shiny Magikarp is too good. Character rare, coughing, beautiful card, very nice. All purple right there. Oh, Gym Heroes Gym Challenge? <laughs> yeah, we got the Rockets Hitmonchan, so good, oh. I just never get sick of seeing those cards, literally. Boom. Fossil Articuno, very nice. One of the fir the first Articuno card to come out. Huge chase in the Fossil set, and that's a beautiful artwork right there. Whew, two cards left, guys. I'm gonna need a massive drink after this. <laughs> My voice is like gone. Boom. Base Polyrath as a six, so sick. Love to see that. And this is Sugimori too. I didn't realize that Sugimori did so many base uh, artworks. I thought it was mostly Arita. Last card of today. <laughs> so many awesome cards. I told you there were a lot. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Boom. Another Polyrath, and this time we upgraded to a seven. We will take it. So fun to see. Congrats on all of your cards, and thank you for trusting me with them. I hope that you had a good time, and that this whole grading process was a little easier for you guys <laughs> using my middleman service. If you wanna get your cards graded, guys, message me anytime, any place, anywhere. All of my info is down below in the description. I would love to help you grade your collections, your most cherished cards because there's nothing better. But other than that, I hope you have the best rest of the day and I will catch you <laughs> next time. <laughs>